and demonstrate one way to assemble the miniature train. So I'm going to start a new assembly file. And go ahead and click on place component and choose the most important part and that is the train body. This is my base component. That's all the other parts are going to get connected to it. So it automatically drops one instance down. I'll say right click, choose OK and in the browser bar it's got a pin on it that means it's grounded we'll talk more about that later but in essence that means it can't move in space we'll click on place component again and we'll start off with the stack there is certainly uh, more than one way more than one order to assemble this train uh, when you bring one in after the base component you do have to click and then right click say you're done but um, if you find a different way to assemble this by all means go ahead and do it and as you'll find out, I'll probably screw it up as we're doing here and have to fix it as we go. But I'm going to choose the Insert Constraint tool. And when you do an insert, you have to choose what edge you want to match up. So that bottom rounded edge, I'm going to insert into this hole. And those two edges are going to get mated in essence. And their center axes will also get mated to have an insert. I'll choose OK. And that stacks in there perfectly. Next up, we'll try the cow catcher. So we'll click on the place component tool, choose the cow catcher, say open. I have to click once to drop it down, right click, say OK, we're all done with that. And we're going to use the constrain tool. Again, we're going to choose insert. And I want to choose that top peg. And I'm going to insert it all the way up to this rounded edge there. Click once, and the hole that it'll go through is this hole right on the top and it'll get inserted right up to there. I'll choose OK and I just want to show you that you can now rotate this about and so what I'm going to do is kind of rotate it so it's offset here and that I can see that peg on the bottom and so when I choose constraint again and I'm going to insert this rounded or that circular edge and it is going to get mated to this circular edge and I'll hit apply. Now I can close that menu, look at it isometrically and just click on this part and drag it and notice I can't move it. Now the stack you can actually spin um, but since we inserted two pegs that cow catcher is stuck right there. It's said to have no degrees of freedom left on it. We're going to place the wheels. There are four of them. So when we choose the wheel, we can actually click four times. One, two, three, four. Right click, say you're done. And again, we're going to use that insert constraint tool. So click on constrain, choose insert. Doesn't matter which one you choose first. I could choose the hole and say insert it to that hole and that rounded edge there and match up one of my wheels, I'll choose this one and be sure you choose the correct surface or edge that you want to mate and I'm going to say that one make sure it's what I want and it is, I'll hit apply to leave this menu up and I can just go ahead and keep doing inserts on the other wheels check it again looks good, apply and for these ones I'll look at the other side and go ahead and insert those right up to the hole where they belong. We're going to apply the pegs next to hold them in there. Hit apply there and say or hit that X to say we're done with that menu. Now these wheels should be able to spin around. There's still a degree of freedom left on them which is exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and bring in the next part and that's going to be the axle peg and uh, there's going to be four of these so I will click four times and again you guessed it the insert constraint tool so we're going to say let's insert it all the way to this edge and on the underside of this bolt we're going to choose this circular edge that reference goes in right where I want it hit apply and do that again to the other ones. Be sure here to zoom in as tight as you need to to see that reference, to see that edge that you really want to choose so you don't click on the wrong one. 
and that way you can work your way around the train inserting it as it should go here hit apply after each one leaving that menu up we can go right through this train pretty quick look at it isometrically and we're done with that menu next up let's put on the linkage arm so place a component linkage arm there's going to be two of these one on each side of the train and our favorite constraint the insert we're working with circular parts and we're going to say that edge meets up with that one and uh, you might think well now it's way over here well don't worry it'll take care of itself we'll just choose the right side the correct side and when it gets applied it will flip right around again always make sure choosing that correct reference there hit apply that's exactly what you want and you get just going here pretty pretty good after you uh, get the handle of it get the hang of it hit apply after each one now this one looks like it's on there and I'm gonna close this menu to show you that it's not so I'm gonna bring it offset so that I can see it otherwise it was gonna be hard to see I'll choose that insert constraint and say right up to that edge and I'm gonna to have to rotate to see this back side of the peg um, or excuse me back side of that linkage arm right there hit apply and we are fully constrained to those um, those linkage pegs or linkage arm rather now we gotta add the linkage peg so we'll go ahead and place the linkage peg there it is for those guys we're going to use the constrain tool to insert them again and right on that underside we're going to say right there insert it into the linkage arm right there hit apply and again work your way around the train choosing the correct reference and before you know it this thing is going to be all put together you be careful when you're zoom too far out if you don't get it just right you're gonna to have to redo it those linkage pegs are in. The only thing we're missing is the hitch peg and the hitch magnet. And those are going to go around the back side here. Close this menu, place another component. Hitch magnet goes on first. Drop that down. You know, we could might as, might as well do it. Bring it in same time that hitch peg and we'll apply one at a time using the constraint tool insert. We can assemble this whole train using that insert constraint apply that and choose that as your reference for inserting that magnet peg or the hitch peg right there and that is your fully assembled train